Okay, let's copy this wheel over there now. I'm going to quickly select this layer and put it on the no layer green option. Then turn off my spokes. Okay, press U, C, S, enter. I'm going to move my X, Y, Z here for the time being. And now I'm going to draw a line, L, enter, from the center here to the center there, like that. Okay, once you've done that, I can turn my spokes back on. Press escape twice, and then use the copy tool, enter, to select these three, enter. And I'll start from the midpoint there, and move over to the midpoint there, like that. So I'll press escape twice, and if you did it correctly, your wheels should match up. Now we can go ahead and add in the pedal system. So for the pedals, you have pedals and there's gonna be gears here and they're gonna essentially help move that back tire. So we gotta add those in first. What I'd like you to do is disable your spokes and you should still have the lines that we created earlier. I'm going to extend this line out and to do that, I'm gonna turn off all my object snap settings. And then I'm just gonna select that line and extend it just this a little bit more outward. So it's actually not interfering with the spokes. Let me turn that back on. Take a look here. So it's pretty close, uh, but I'm fine with that. And if you're fine with that, then that's awesome. Then I'm gonna turn my frame back on. And we're gonna kind of get a line extending out of here. So for your object snap settings, turn on your center Press escape twice, and then I'm going to draw a line, enter from the center here, and it has to kind of extend past this frame here. So make sure it extends past it. So I'm going to go out. It's going to be pretty close, but let's say to there. Okay, press escape twice, take a look at that. And that's something I can live with. So now we're good. Let's go ahead and set up our drawing. I want you to turn off your frame layer, as well as your spokes, your tires, your rims. So you're left with nothing but these two lines over there. Then go U, C, S, enter. And I'm gonna turn my object snap settings back on. So object snap settings, select all, okay. I'm gonna put it over here so that my X, my Y are facing in that direction. And now I'm gonna draw a circle. So C, enter, and this circle is gonna be a fairly large circle. I'm gonna go with, uh, that's a 0.1 for me. So I'm gonna go 0.3 with this one, 0.3. Of course, make yours adjusted based on your size of your drawing. So this one's three times as large as that one. For this one here, I'm gonna just offset it a little bit. So I'll use a copy tool, copy, to select that, enter, and move it from this point over to the front there. So it's at the front of that line. And then I'm going to use offsets on both of them. So O for offset, enter. I'm going to go 0 0.05 for mine, roughly 1 6 the diameter of this wheel. And I'm going to click there, go out like that, click like that. And then for the same for this one over here enter to reactivate it and I'm going to go 0.5 enter and go out click it like that press escape twice and we'll start with this one here so I just zoomed out zoom back in I'm going to draw a small circle right at the very top here and we're going to make the circle 0 0.03 just like that and escape twice then my array command AR for array enter, I'm going to select that circle, enter, polar is fine, enter, and then I'm going to click at the center. Now it gives me six of them, but I'm going to go with, let's say, what, what does 30 look like? 30 looks great. So we're going to go with 30 over here, enter, to save those. I'm going to do the same on this side, use the circle command, Starting up there, it has to be the exact same type of circle, so it's going to be 0 0.03. Enter, escape twice, array, enter, select that, enter, polar, enter. And then from the center, instead of having 6, we're going to have 12. Okay, so 12, enter, enter, and now both of those look great. 
Okay, so we're going to trim this off, so we're going to have a place for the uh, for the uh, chain to go. But before we do that, let's make sure that we draw the path of the chain. So I'm going to use the line tool, L for line, enter, and at the topmost circle, I'm going to connect that to the topmost circle here. I'm going to press escape twice and use the line down here as well. At the bottommost circle, we're going to connect it to the bottommost circle over there. Okay, that looks good. Then I'm going to go to the center of the topmost circle and I'm going to draw out my line to the center of the topmost circle there. I'm going to press escape, enter again, and I'm going to do the same with the bottommost circle as well. So it just puts those two lines into place. I'm going to press escape twice and I'm going to trim this out. Now if I try to use the trim command, enter and select everything, enter and try to trim anything, it won't let me. That's because you can't trim the individual components of an array unless you explode it. So I'm going to go EX for explode and collect on the third option. Then click on the array elements, press enter, and it'll separate them. I'm going to do the same over here. So enter to reactivate explode. Click on the array elements and enter again to separate them. Once you've done that, you can use the trim command, enter, to select everything, enter. And we want to trim off the tops and the centers of each of these portions to get the proper gear design. And I'm going to speed up the video right now. So you want to do this for this one as well as the gear on the back tire. Now we also have to join the gears together. So use your join command, J, enter. And you got to select the individual components that make up the line. So just go around and select everything and press enter again to combine this all into one singular polyline. And I'm going to speed up the video now at this point. Okay, and now let's go ahead and join these two lines together. I'd like you to use a special type of arc called the start end radius arc. So select that and then you're going to go from one point to start, end, and then you're going to head to the radius and click there and it should combine those. And then we're going to do the same here. So arc, start end radius, and I'm going to go start, end, radius, like that. So combine those all together. I'm going to press escape twice and use the join command, enter to select the four lines that make up the entire chain, press enter, and it should convert them over to a spline. Now we can create the chain, so I'm going to use a simple rectangle, REC, enter, and I'm going to click up here to draw it. Now the distance between the top point here and the bottom of the gear is 0 0.03 for me, so I'm going to go 0 0.03, tab, and I'm going to extrude the gear out 0 0.02. So I'm going to say 0 0.02, enter, and it looks something like that. And I'm going to use a circle, enter, to draw out a shape. I'm going to draw it from the top here like that. And then I'm going to copy the circle with the copy tool. That one, enter, and I'm just going to move the copy down to, let's say, here. So it looks like that. Then I'll use the trim command to select everything, and I'm going to trim off the excess components that aren't necessary for making this chain. Okay, escape twice, select that, delete that and that, and I'm going to join this together. 
Okay, so that's all been converted. So that's my chain segment. And I'm going to extrude out these gears. So extrude, I'm going to select that one, as well as this one, enter. I'm going to rotate my screen slightly. And I'm going out, like I said, just 0.02. Okay, so it looks something like that. And now, sweep. So SW for sweep, enter. I'm going to select my object, enter. And before I click it down, I'm going to press A for alignment. Or no, not A for alignment. I'm going to press B for base point, enter. And I'm going to select the top of this. And then I'm going to select the path. Okay. And if you do it correctly, there we go. It should generate a chain around your object. Okay. So we're going to continue this in the next part. I'll see you then.